This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, memory heart. Y'all, we almost just had an absolute disaster. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask her if we were rolling, and guess what, y'all? We were not. We weren't. I forgot an SD card. It happens. It happens. Also, since the beginning of time, YouTube, all of the things, whenever I've heard SD card, I've thought suck a dick card. Oh, every single time a suck a dick card. Yeah, and I think of STDs, like an STD oh, card. Oh, nice. Yeah. We're in the so, same world of being a couple of horny, absolute perverts, horny adult women. Wow, Ooh. it's a rainy day here in LA, which absolutely sucks. Yeah, it makes us crazy. Which is, we can't say it's like a rare event anymore. No, like that's this is happening thing. a lot. We bought. Well, Elliot bought uh, stuff, flood stuff. For mm. last time it rained that didn't come until after it rained. Oh. So now we get to use it for this time it rains. You got these like sandbags, but they're flat. And when they get wet, they inflate. Stop it. That sounds fun. Yeah, I think they were on Shark Tank, actually. Which okay. Is very funny. But we have those because he's very Florida. So he's so used to getting hurricane proof stuff for his house that this is where he shines now okay so your house is up on a hill yeah a little so is bit. that to like block like your sliding glass doors and stuff yeah well it uh rains in our garage like it floods in the front of our garage so he's got tarps that he's trying to put your pottery to- wheel i know the pottery well that's like it, uh pete had all of his books in there and half of them got wet right. before and we had to throw a lot of them away pete now- is their friend yes pete <laughs> is a friend <laughs> and uh now everything's in like plastic and it just puddles in the corner it's fine Damn. but we got tarps we got sandbags we are preparing because it shows it. no signs of stopping now you know we live the thing is we live in portland mm-hmm. or in seattle without their prices yeah i know I, it's crazy my rent is rationalized by the good weather out here yeah what the fuck i know i know it's crazy and i will say i drove to radiation today i actually don't mind it because it's really there's hardly anyone on the road everyone's sort of driving cautiously Mm. and it's really not bad i mean we grew up on the east coast so i'm like oh i know technically i know how to do this it's scary and i feel like i shouldn't be out here Mm -hmm. but it's actually totally fine i've been listening to the Rick Rubin, the creative act book. So, okay, we talked about this yeah. on the podcast, or the live stream yesterday, but is that officially the new bar flies? We haven't told the general public. I believe it will be. The only thing I'm hesitant about is like, it is designed as a book like for creative people and artists and that sort of mm. thing. However, I do think it's like a little bit, like some of the stuff he's talking about could be applied universally to just like aspects of life that you want to live slightly more creatively it's really great his okay yeah his voice is so soothing oh he reads his own he reads his own he's got little gong sounds in between <gasps> each a gong. Of, yeah a gentle gong in between each section it's very pleasant and in the rain well, oof, that n- was some nice driving now i kind of now I want to join on yeah. for this book. You would flies. love this book. Well, first We also of all, have an, ad, an audible ad we have to read today. So this is perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I w- we went to uh, breakfast with a couple of friends. Mike Falzone, stand-up content creator. So fun. And he was going nuts about this book oh. because he's like on his third or fourth read of it because that's what? how like into it he is. And I've had it on my shelf forever. It's like a staple book i think for creative people like one that like everyone kind of has kind of like the artist way type of thing never never read it yeah i never read the artist way but no. this is much cooler it's a cool looking book aesthetically okay. Okay. very fun sold us she's getting shares of the rick rubin yeah book sales. it's uh and also his instagram's fun he follows no one he puts up one post and then he'll delete it and put up a post delete what it what a up gen a post. z motherfucker even though he's I mean, in his 60s or 70s artist man it's just I, like uh i buy into it i'll take it his success speaks for itself you know what i don't like it because <laughs> here's the deal like my nephew uh-huh. i don't think he listens to this podcast but my nephew does like look at my story and things like that or like will mm. like comment on something yeah however absolutely has zero posts wow really yeah and zero he's posts. he's you know like early 20s yeah um and so i it makes me mad it makes me feel like you you get to just yeah. Come in here and lurk around. Lurk, creep and, on it. And I don't get to peep on you. Yeah. I have cousins that don't post as much either. I wonder if younger but people nothing. are posting somewhere else. 
Are what? they all somewhere? Where's everyone? Where's everyone? Where's at? everyone posting? Because even my niece in Australia, she's the same way. Yeah. She has like one photo up of when she was like a toddler, and that's it. But she's online. Is it Snapchat? Are they on Snapchat? Is it, is, are people still Snapchatting? I saw some ad for Snapchat that was like, this is not social media or something. It was like advertising itself for like when you're sick of social media or something. And I was like, what? Sna- are people over on Snapchat doing things? Snapchats are just Instagram stories, right? I don't oh know. Oh my God, we're so old. I haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't opened my Snapchat in probably five, six years. I don't have the login. Their tagline is the fastest way to share a moment. Okay. That's All currently right. what their uh, slogan is. But I could have sworn I saw a commercial that was like, um, yeah, Snapchat is an app that empowers people to express themselves, live in the moment, learn about the world, and have fun together. Snapchat is a place to show your dingaling. <laughs> That's all I know it as. <laughs> right? I mean, maybe it's 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 you know legitimized since then, but I was on Snapchat very very briefly. Yeah, and that's when. And there still isn't, I don't think, any link to be like, and now post this over on my Instagram story. Yeah. But remember, there was a minute there where it was like, you oh, both. you're just doing one thing and putting it everywhere. Yeah. And it's not going to be unique to that one platform. Yeah. So I just got overwhelmed and I said, get out of here. It's too much. I mean, I feel the same with TikTok. I hardly go on it. But um, when I do, like I, so I got a little high the other day and I, um, you know, was on I did my like once a week or once every two weeks open up TikTok. Then I see that you've sent me a bunch of stuff. Hey, I, I, <laughs> and I'm like, I oh, gather the goods. <laughs> but then I literally every video I'm watching, I'm like, this is great. Yeah, I start sending to Elliot. He now has 20 videos that he's like in his office working and I'm just texting him video mm-hmm. after video after video. And then, as everyone saw, I got way down the rabbit hole of the dancing chickens and it was like, this is perfect content for me. And you're late on them chickens. I'm late on the chickens. Them chickens are probably dead by now, Grace. I, I hope not. But if they are, <laughs> man, they l- seem to have lived a good life. Uh, they wore the sunglasses without any uh, anger, it seemed. I Great. saw then everyone was sending me the dancers that do the impression of the chickens. Oh. And it's, so, it's these women that are, I think, professional dancers in real life. And they do like they're yeah. bopping around dance, i'm like chicken dance. this is perfect this is exactly what well, i want to see here's the thing is i forget i forget tiktok exists yeah same um until i'm in bed at night and it's mm. my favorite it's the worst thing to possibly watch while trying to get tired it contains every ounce of information about everything in the entire world well but in addition to that mm-hmm. you physically have to keep it going yeah. or else it keeps replaying so it's the worst yeah. thing to do but it's what i do at night and then i'll be cry laughing <laughs> when i'm supposed to be getting night night time and it's just, it's just rough you know what i got sucked into the other day on tiktok what it's really gross oh no what <laughs> is it helpful not for us okay hoof cleaning on horses sarah just <laughs> sent this to elliot and i it's that they got her and her husband oh. got really into it and they sent really? us the hoof doctor and i was like what the fuck is this hoofs are crazy they're man. crazy and he's scraping, scraping. The bo- and i was like does this not hurt this is not hurt How- what is what yeah. is this like because i know what i don't want to watch pimple popping no hell no but i was like is this akin to that that's the only thing that comes to mind yeah. of like what is soothing about this because this looks like it's hurting this no cow. I, I don't want pimple popping i don't want any kind of extraction no 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 however like even if i have a zit yeah i have to like look away <laughs> I, I, have to, I have to like block it out like uh, like you know i have to like totally disassociate yeah, yeah. and get in there um like meanwhile chip would be like let me get that over and i'm like blah, 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 blah. but i got i started watching and i was like what the fuck is this and like i'm like about to throw up and and then i was like oh that's a horse hoof and then i was like well i gotta see it finished you know what i mean but then they're like fully taking a thing and like peeling yeah. off like inches of the hoof so i go is this like when you see a dog and their nails are so long where right, it's they like clip their nails they don't clip them so you're like okay it's just we'll get closer to the tendon i don't know girl they were pulling Ooh. full like pebbles out yeah. of this hoof i know i'm starting to like i get I, really disgusted i understand yeah that it's a good service to this animal because we saw what, what they we called were a watching- farrier it's called a farrier who um. puts horseshoes on horses we were watching the guy he was doing it to cows 
and oh, he was okay. like re- he was releasing gas pressure that was inside the hoof itself what the like fuck? It, it put a little hole in it and, and like i guess you could hear <laughs> not to that degree though i wish oh it would have been such a great opportunity for sound effects if hoofs farted <laughs> honey i got a, yeah. I got a new industry i gotta move to a farm <laughs> this uh it was releasing gas pressure at least that's all i could gather before i had to like stop watching it because for some reason it gave me a really visceral reaction but yeah that's um a new thing i it's got to be like clipping toenails yeah and it's it's like if you let them go long it's like it's not gonna hurt you it's just uncomfortable yeah yeah. you know like horses aren't gonna if you let it go all of a sudden they're wearing platform shoes (laughs) and they're like three (laughs) feet off the ground however another thing i wish happened yeah but no all this animal stuff i'm learning on tiktok like okay i don't know i probably told you about this there was one time I was I was flying to London and I don't remember for what, mm-hmm. but I was flying to London and I like get my seat from New York to um, to there. And I'm doing those things where I'm like, well, I'll have a little wine, whatever. I'm sitting beside this woman. I started a conversation. This is over 10 years ago. Okay. And we're chatting for a sec. And I don't know how, but we within five minutes knew the same person. Wow. Yeah. We like both knew this documentary filmmaker. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I've been to her house in the Hamptons. Like I've gone to, I've shared a, a, a condo with her at Sundance. Like I know this person well. And she's like, (laughs) I went to college or like whatever it was. But this woman, we talked the whole time. So I showed up to London like an absolute freak. Yeah. Just drink, you know, like there (laughs) goes sleep. And then you're like hitting the day out of the gate. She is like specifically a horse like this is not the correct term chiropractor wow she was like the amount of pressure like she's (gasps) like she's like horses and animals and dogs and stuff need to get adjusted and popped too (gasps) and then there was one night where i fell into dog chiropractic tiktok (gasps) where like this guy is fully chiropractoring like pit bulls and stuff oh man no. I know I would never let him touch beans I, yeah. you know what I mean like yeah, that's a, that's oh, a fly yeah. but it's crazy like how much that is makes where it's like sense. oh right they're they're getting sore too I mean I feel like I need a chiropractor more than ever yeah. right now I feel like all I'm doing is sitting hunched constantly and yeah. having I have been curious about like the bras that correct your posture they say Taylor Swift wears one really yeah I heard <laughs> well <laughs> I mean, you've seen her posture on stage. It's absurd. Yeah. I heard she and th- I honestly don't know if I'm making this up. OK, but I heard that it she has one of those like really strapped in. So, she, you know, because you look at Taylor Swift and you're like, that tall thing should be walking like full, yeah. you know, like hobgoblin hobgoblin. Yeah. And she's just so back straight. Yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. Yeah. Oh, I've been thinking that I need to get my posture fixed in some capacity just because i can feel it in my shoulders i can feel it in my starting neck. to wear starting to wear yeah uh, well, i'm going aches. to hot yoga right after this nice which will be nice on a cold day i'm sure i'll literally do half of it but i was okay so i was in palm strings yes this past week working and m- with my friend kiwi and kiwi was like do you want to take like a 9 a.m like zoom pilates and i've talked about this before because yeah. i did it with her once and i laughed about like how you know it was just like people are barely doing it they're having full conversations you know but then one time kiwi was like do you i'm doing zoom tomorrow i was like oh i'll do it for my house and then she never logged on and then i and i didn't have weight so i was just sitting there like with a progresso soup can doing a lot anyway we were doing it um we actually did it joined the class you know 15 late because she overslept um got on there and grace the amount of conversations that were happening that had nothing to do with Pilates. Yeah. Like at one point, the instructor took a call and w- and then hung up and was like, sorry, my toilet's been clogged for two days. That was my landlord. What? <laughs> I was like, and I'm just sitting there doing like, <laughs> doing like crunches. Like, what is happening? So Amazing. that's about how crazy exercise I've gotten. Nice. Uh, that sounds super fun. Do, is everyone unmuted to like talk? Well, with that's each the other thing is i was like why like, can't we mute I, that i thought was like the protocol so that like you, that's the point is that it's comfortable in your own space you would hope so i mean when it was full pandemic and i was doing remote dance classes yeah i would always i would in the chat say can y'all mute yourself <laughs> because i was like i'm not trying to hear you heavy breathe yeah, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. your husband come home <laughs> you gotta <laughs> mute it man oh okay but here's another thing that happened on a zoom okay so the um earlier that day mm-hmm. i'm on a zoom call and it's like it's like a se- it's 
like a business one, but it's like a serious one. Yeah. You know, just being like, and this is probably not going to work out. Like, you know, yeah, like yeah. A, one of those. And and we've been waiting to have this forever. And Beans comes over with a look in her eye. I was like, what's happening? And I'm like, oh, here it goes. She just pukes in my hand. <laughs> oh, my God. This is at the top of the Zoom. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. <laughs> you knew it was coming, so you put your hand. You know up. when your dog is looking at you like a little, like a wild thing, and then she's like, mm. "Oh no!" And I was like, "Well, not on our Joybird couch." <laughs> and so she just pukes in my hand, and then I'm just having this serious zoom with a tiny handful of vomit. <laughs> And then she just goes back and then tail a wagon. She goes, she's like, I'm fine. She goes back. And then you know what? It was like, pay it forward. Uh -huh. Because that night or uh, middle of the night, I got food poisoning. <gasps> and we had a, another Zoom the next morning. And I vomited and then got on the Zoom. And I and I looked at Beans while I was walking on. And I said, if I have to do this again, you better come over here and stick that paw out, bitch. <laughs> Us. so much vomit down at the highball house it wasn't a hangover it was vietnamese food but um oh, the worst. isn't that it, i mean i'm just sitting there oh be tiny so and she polite. was and she was totally fine after you that you guys are in tune with each other uh, just a real pro on these zoomy booms Y'all, sometimes we have the best intentions to cook at home, save a little money, uh, eat a little healthier, and sometimes it, it just takes so much time, okay? You're going to the grocery store, you're, you're meal planning, you, you're buying more stuff than you actually need to buy. Sometimes you just need someone to help you out with the meals, and that's when Factor comes in, all right? Factor is delicious, ready-to-eat meals that make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals. And they've got 35 different options a week, which are keto, or you could go calorie smart, or vegan, or veggie, just like me. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. They are two minutes. That's how long it takes. Two freaking minutes. Fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. They've got snacks smoothies more y'all i know when you think about prepared meals you're probably not considering breakfast oh baby factor is rocking that breakfast okay and you know you've got your blueberry pancakes hello cherry almond pancakes excuse me what a treat they've got apple cinnamon overnight oats and then my favorite y'all i love an egg bite I absolutely love an egg bite and they have got various types that you can choose from. I love breakfast and Factor does breakfast correctly. So sign up and save, all right? They've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. They are 100% ready to heat and eat. So there's no preparing, cooking or cleanup. So if you wanna give it a shot, head to factormeals.com slash TMGW50 and use code TMGW50 to get 50% off, look at that. That's code TMGW50 at factormeals.com slash TMGW50 to get 50% off. Give it a shot. You know what? It could factor into your life pretty nicely. If you're a freelancer, you're probably dreading your quarterly tax bills. And if your business of one is not set up properly, you're likely overspending on your taxes. It's time to reduce your tax bill by thousands with Collective. Collective is the all-in-one financial solution for self-employed entrepreneurs that specializes in S-Corp election. Let Collective handle your taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll all for a fraction of the cost of a CPA. And if your business of one is making at least $60,000 in annual profit, then you could be missing out on thousands in tax savings every year. With Collective, the S-Corp tax election is saving its members an average of $10,000 per year. But don't wait to elect because the deadline to backdate your S-Corp to January 1st is coming up on March 31st. Right now, Collective is waiving the onboarding fee when you go to collective.com slash t TMGW and tell them TMGW sent you. That's a $199 value waived and a full year of S Corp savings when you go to collective.com slash TMGW and tell them TMGW sent you. That's collective.com slash TMGW. Tell them TMGW sent you. Um, I heard this story that is in development right now. It's ongoing. In development. Drama. Okay. Speaking of animal drama. Okay. You know about Charlotte the Stingray? Yes. It, 
Well, this is... Is she named Charlotte or she lives in Charlotte? I know she's North Carolina. My uh, girl. That's my girl. Stingray named Char- Charlotte. Okay. In North Carolina. This is big, big drama. Uh, I know. So Charlotte resides in a tank in at a North Carolina aquarium and she is pregnant. She's, she's knocked out. However... There are no male stingrays in this facility at all. And the people that work there found um, she was covered in shark bites. Whoa, I didn't know the shark bite part. I knew there were and sharks in there. The shark bites are an indicator of shark mating. There are sharks in this tank. Sharks bite when they fuck? Yeah, apparently. Damn. I know. The fucking That's sharks are damn. Just like, can they hot. calm down? That's like, kind of hot. Can a shark calm <laughs> yeah, down like, for a second? Yeah, yeah, you're like, like, you're like, um, of <laughs> all the it. animals I don't want giving a love bite yeah. during sex, Jesus. it's a shark. God, Give me a fin slap. Do you guys ever do anything calm <laughs> yeah. and normal? Relax, uh, brah. Uh, so now the caretakers are speculating who is the father of Charlotte's potential babies. So she's believed to be between 12 and 16 years old, and she uh, is found to be carrying three to four pups. Okay, but hold on a second. Okay, I, so there's two theories here. Yeah, that she is either evolving and she like w- did cell division to create her own uh, young. Parenthenogenesis. Parenthenogenesis, yes. it literally translates into virgin birth or miracle birth. Oh, yeah. Which... Uh, I guess has happened before. It's very rare. But is, has it happened with stingrays? I know it happens with tons of other aquatic creatures. I, think it's ha- I don't know that it's happened with stingrays. I think it's happened with other fish or sh- even sharks. But yeah. so their thoughts are that uh, she hasn't been in a tank with a male ray in at least eight years. And so it uh, yeah, is I think either we- going to be a shark stingray okay. which everyone's like this is probably this not is not possible, it. it's right? probably going to be the parenthenogenesis yes uh but she literally has uh she's doing within two weeks so okay. all eyes are on charlotte to be like what the hell's coming out of the stingray oh my god because i mean immaculate conception like virgin mary status that yeah. this stingray did uh, like is wild in and of itself it's wild but, but uh, also to have the shark bites then if that wasn't love bites then fucking get those sharks out then, of that tank we got assaults yeah. yeah um here's a uh, salt water <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> um but anyway okay i know the pair of genesis whatever yeah. like when i was doing a series of videos on instagram as tiny mouth talking about animals yes i learned a lot about that mm-hmm. and there are quite a few animals that do that you know what I okay. mean? But so am I when I look at a stingray, I go, that thing's fucking old as hell. You know, you yeah. look at a stingray, you're like flat dinosaur. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's been around. So the fact that it hasn't <laughs> learned how to like be with right. child without other things already. Right. Would be shocking to me. So I would not be shocked if it was Immaculate Conception. I'd be way more shocked if a shark knocked it up. Well, that's what people are. Obviously, they're like pointing to this because uh it's rare but it has happened before uh in other situations that uh what do they say smaller cells separate from the mother's eggs yes are created uh they then merge with the egg to create offspring it's similar so the offspring is similar to the mother but not exact clones oh okay i like that yeah sharks yeah which are very closely related scientifically to rays have been documented to undergo this process also stingrays live Typically between 15 to 25 years. I didn't realize stingrays could live up to 25 years. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I mean, sharks can live to be like 100. That's crazy. I didn't know can't that. They? Can't they? I believe you. I, I mean, those I can't guys tell are pe- fucking I crazy. Can't, I can't. How, how long can a shark live? Um, here's the thing. With stingrays, I think they have to learn how to create their own young. Because they're not a looker. No, you know, like, well, yeah. how does one stingray look at the other and be like, I really want to slide on top of that one like another piece of paper? <laughs> I mean, they do fit pretty perfectly. <laughs> okay, listen to this. Yeah. Most sharks live 20 to 30 years in the wild. Damn. But some can live farther. At the extreme end of the longevity scale, Greenland sharks, get ready for this shit, Chris, Uh-oh. can live at least 272 <gasps> years, making them the longest lived vertebrae in existence what where is greenland it's greenland sharks i don't know if they live in greenland okay but 
they can oh. they live at least 250 years that's crazy and maybe up to 500 what i are what? you freaked out that's a huge gap you're never going in the water how well, can they say maybe 500 may- like what caps at five why cap at 500 this is from the national o- ocean service and wow. look the thank fact you for your is, service the fact is maybe they don't no oh listen to this this is kind of cool though because it's like a tree yeah the age of so they've suspected they can live a really long time but they can't determine how long the age of other shark species can be estimated by counting growth bands on their fins or spines like the rings of a tree i think we learned this we We did already we talked to that shark guy (laughs) when we did that series uh yeah um, oh shark week and we zoomed uh video chatted with the guy from like south africa that was like that shark specialist and he was so amped on sharks and lovely to talk about uh, to talk to about sharks uh i feel like he was telling us all kinds of facts and they were just flying all over the place but here's the thing he he also might have been drinking very early um or no it was late there he was in south africa um but here's the reason why they can't really like determine everything is because they would they would need to do i guess carbon dating which means mm. like interfering with a shark who you're like, don't interfere with a shark who's yeah. a couple, who's older than our country. Jesus. And then also they uh, like when they've actually found them, mm-hmm. like in one of those like vehicles, little like off the, you know, in the water vehicles. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> like oh, a Vespa, a Vespa. <laughs> they usually hang out at like 700 meters under the sea Man. and can go down to 22. So if you scare a Greenland Ooh. shark, he could maybe go down there for another 50 years. Yeah. You ain't going to see him again. Wow. Delicate. Isn't that delicate. crazy? That's wow. crazy. I have no I- interest in going anywhere near any of that. I don't either. You know, there was a minute there when I was growing up where I was like, I think it'd be cool to actually see the big great whites. And then after... Oh. I had an actual mental breakdown just doing VR. Yeah, yeah. I thought maybe it's not for me. Not for me. I'm okay. I'm okay with not exploring the ocean at That's all for all. the rest yeah. of my life. Like I'm okay with that. Going in and jumping in, la la la, frolicking yeah. in a very shallow part of it. Fine. I don't need to go any further. I don't need to go any deeper. I am a okay. Well, I'm excited to see what goes down with Charlotte. I think a lot of people are going to be very disappointed disappointed. (laughs) and it's not something crazy but then we got to get these shark bites off of her now let me ask you this yeah has maury povich jumped at this opportunity to do a parody right it's right there i mean come on maury it's right there you got to do it yeah get those shark bites out of here uh speaking of creatures yes um did you know uh, this is like off the heels of valentine's day being last week did Mm -hmm. you know that build-a-bear does like a kind of sassy adult line no what were you nodding yes about i was nodding yes (laughs) about i didn't know they did a sassy adult line but i know that they have a capybara build a bear that just got released i didn't know like every everyone's going nuts about it myself included i was seeing people repost it being like this appeals to my interests okay should we go get you a -A build-a-bear i mean they have one at our mall we should go have a -A build-a-bear day and like and like vlog it i haven't either little frankenstein freaks build-a-bear i think was established when i was aged out already yeah we weren't building bears we were building relationships with men yeah i was trying to go to limited (laughs) too and just (laughs) <laughs> Look at all the expensive clothes I couldn't buy. <laughs> no, I would have loved to build a bear as a as a youngster, but like it came out later, and I don't understand yeah. adults who have stuffed animals, which is why this is so strange to me. Okay, so it's but here's the thing: nothing is that crazy. You know what I mean? Like if you look at them, there's like you know, right? Th- there'll be some. There's, so this is targeted specifically towards adults. Adults. Well, when you go on their website, Grace, yeah. you have to click and say you're over twenty one. To, to see even these? look at these bears. Are they full of booze? What's going on? Well, this one's holding a champ. This lion is holding a champagne bottle. Oh. We've got like some. Whoa, why Why are they what? all in like lingerie? They're, yeah, it's like. <laughs> it's, what? It's like athletic lingerie, right? Oh, there's an alien one. That's cute. I know, but I, that one, it's not even weird. So I'm like, I guess they don't want kids to know there's aliens. Yeah. Like this one, she's wearing, a, she's holding a bottle of wine. This one is interested interested it just goes you're okay i guess and it's a bunny with her hand on her hips what the fuck the, it was a nagging bunny i know there's Wait, like these are like sexy dressed as a devil one oh this one's God. interesting it's a bear with a raglan that says i like the crepe out of you like the french like, thin pancake so that's a french bear what? there that is, is no so beret. specific there's no beret <laughs> i don't understand it you know there's a bear who's proposing there's a bear who's 
There's uh, a frog. There's a couple at Mardi Gras and it's called Party Gras and they're where wow. they're holding like, you know, really long drinks. I want to take you out. Things like that. Okay. There's there is additional um outfits for the bears like lingerie if you wanted to or like you know hugh hefner robes this one's interesting there is a zaddy crop top what (laughs) what there is so it's like it's so funny because it's like why are you bringing this into your brand it's for people like really go for it one or the other yeah it's a little um teens I mean, like, I guess you get this if you're for someone, if you're like asking them out or asking to marry them or if I, you gave me a build a bear during a proposal, <laughs> they, yeah. look, they, I mean, they're going to get sued by sued by Sir Mix a lot. They have a crop top that says <laughs> don't want none unless you've got buns, hun. For your build a bear. That I don't like that. I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me. I'm me not neither. the demo, but I'm sure like same with people that, that collect beanie babies. Like I'm sure that this fits like a brief. For no, them. but beanie babies w- was an investment. That <laughs> was a financial plan. Okay. I don't understand this, but I think you and I should go to build a bear and be like, what is take the process? Us, take us to the back room. <laughs> yeah. Do you, can you build these at build a bear? I don't surely know. You can't build them in front of the children. Well, here's the thing. How much bear are you actually building? You're not picking right. out legs and stuff. Are, are you, you just? Though? I I think you're just watching the, the bear be built. Like the you're you're picking out the stuff, but they're filling it with stuffing and that sort of thing. Like but you're picking out life. the outfit. Right. You don't get to like choose a different stomach, do you? I don't know. You can be I've like, I want mine it. to be a little thicker. <laughs> I want a zaddy. If he's going to be a zaddy, yeah. I want yeah. him to be a zaddy. So like, how much a bear do you get to build? Or are you really just? dressing a bear i think you're just dressing a bear but then the kid gets to see also that's kind of traumatic to be like you want to see your new best friend while they're just unstuffed yeah that's scary that is scary but i mean like kids watch movies like toy story yeah right (laughs) (laughs) tell the audience we don't have children without telling the audience we don't have children i said yeah (laughs) yeah With Stitch Fix, you get a stylist who understands your style, size, and budget. They do all of the shopping for you. It is the easiest way to transform your wardrobe this season. My style currently is basic and confused, much like my personality, maybe. But Stitch Fix stylists help push my wardrobe to the next level. They know what works for me, sometimes even better than I do myself. Most times, more than I do myself. They help me discover new things about my style. It's like a stylish best friend is shopping for you. You know that confidence boost you get when you have a really amazing outfit on? That's what you get from Stitch Fix. When you look good, you feel good, and it shows. You just give your stylist your size, style, and budget preferences. You can order boxes when you want and how you want. There's no subscription required. And they'll send you five just for you pieces, plus outfit recommendations and pro styling tips. You keep what you love and you send back the rest. It is so easy. They'll send you personalized pieces. The fit will be flawless. It's like she's reading your mind. You don't know how they do it, but they just get you. Stitch Fix makes it so easy. You get outfits that make you look and feel good and you don't have to shop. Again, this is all done from the comfort of your own home. I mean, come on. If you don't love something, you just send it back. Shipping, returns, and exchanges are always free. This is a win, win, win situation. Style that makes you feel as good as you look. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash TMGW. That's stitchfix.com slash TMGW. One more time, stitchfix.com slash TMGW. Be honest, how many of y'all made reading more one of your New Year's resolutions and you've already fallen off? Well, that happens, okay, to the best of us. Well, luckily, you have Audible, which can get you back on track by letting you listen to some of the most amazing books out there. And uh, not just that, guys. If you thought Audible was just books, well, then where have you been hiding, okay? They have everything these days. They have podcasts. Uh Uh-huh. I'm talking about your popular favorites to exclusive new series just audible, like guided wellness programs. They've got theatrical performances, comedy, exclusive audible originals from top celebrities, renowned experts, and exciting new voices in audio. Okay. Grace and I talk about on this podcast that she's currently listening and reading Rick Rubin's uh, new book, which is entitled The Creative Act. Well, guys, guess what I just downloaded with one of my audible credits. That's right. I've been an Audible customer for over eight years. I just downloaded that. I'm going to listen to it. And I'm excited to hear 
it through the man's voice himself. That's the cool thing about Audible. There are so many different options. An endless amount of bestsellers, thrillers, mysteries, um, a little rom-com novels, whatever you can think of, they've got it, including original programming, podcast, and more. So what the heck are you waiting for, okay? Become an Audible member like me. And when you do, you get to choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. They also, as a member, get full access to a growing selection of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts, and you can download or stream them anytime you want, all right? Whether you're taking a mental health walk, you're traveling, you're working out, you're doing chores, you're sticking in your little headphones and ignoring the person you're at dinner with, we're not gonna judge you. Give it a shot, okay? New members can try Audible for free for 30 days, all right? Here's what you're gonna do. You are going to go to audible.com slash TMGW or text TMGW to 500-500. Audible members can keep one title a month to keep from the entire catalog and new members can try Audible now for 30 days for free. Visit audible.com slash TMGW or text TMGW to 500 500. Give it a shot. Join the party, babe. Um, hi, hi, hi. Oh, here's a this is an Am I the Asshole thing that I saw on okay. BuzzFeed. Unless there was more about the build a bear. There's not more bear. There's more just random tidbits There's more about th- my life. I am curious about the <laughs> capybara ones. Is it spelled bear? It's gotta be. I'm it's not totally be, right? sure, but it's gotta be. Uh, Okay, this was an Am I the Asshole that seemed a little polarizing that uh, I saw just on BuzzFeed earlier. That a woman chose not to have children, but her friends still expect her to split the babysitter costs when they all go out. So basically this group of friends that has been friends like for since high school, all of, there's five of them, each have a kid except for the one woman. They do dinner about once a month and recently the group hired a babysitter to watch their kids while they all went to have dinner. It's four kids, so it's $100 for two to three hours. So at dinner, they took turns paying for everything. Everyone generally orders about the same amount of stuff, one alcoholic drink. We split two bottles of sparkling water for the table and our entrees. It's never been a thing except after dinner, the person responsible for the week pays i assume they all head back to the house blah 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 basically uh when this person got home they got a flurry of texts from the group saying that she owed a hundred dollars no. and asked what for and they said um to pay the babysitter this bullshit it's crazy right okay that's my immediate reaction is that that's absurd that's a separate pool yeah that's like insane that their friends were rationalizing it that you get the pleasure of hanging out with us this is the only way we you can get be- the pleasure of hanging out with us <laughs> insane to me that's insane to okay me. well i know this is like this is a sex in the city episode and a lot more other things but mm. the same way where it's like okay well do i get a shower gift like oh you, yeah yeah do yeah. i get you know like how Car- push present well, yeah how carrie things. was like i never had a wedding i never had this or that yeah. like i'm gonna start a registry you guys pay me back for the yeah. hundreds of dollars i've invested to go to your weddings and do your things and yeah. and you know like all that jazz I think this is crazy. I mean, the thing that you are uh, not the asshole, you're not the asshole at all. And I think a lot of people are on that same okay. side. The um, funny thing to me is like these people sound particular. But then I look back at what they say they order. They have the same amount of stuff, one alcoholic drink, and they split two bottles of sparkling water. Right. For some reason, that to me stands out as like such a specifically little snobbish behavior <laughs> that mm. would <laughs> make I mean, me think this group asks for you to spend money on their babysitter. I mean, I love a sparkling water. Of course, there's no hate against that at all whatsoever. One alcoholic drink, two bottles of sparkling no, water. No, no, no. If I was doing this, I'd be like, hey, you guys, just so you know, if I'm paying for your babysitter, I'm having two extra drinks yeah. and, and I'm putting my Uber tab on Yeah, here. like I think if that if they're going to force you and it's going to mm-hmm. get weird, then you say, I'm having four cocktails details yeah and you guys will just have you can to deal with it pay for it you know what here's the deal as childless ladies <laughs> yeah. sorry if this is polarizing but there's a lot of things where i'm like i'm doing y'all favors by not having kids so okay for example yeah. i got a text from mary yes dog walker mary as we all know yes the other day which absolutely gobsmacked me oh it was out of nowhere she just said and she doesn't use language that much. Okay. She says, except for her Christmas shirt, that's a Christmas tree that's not dressed up and one that is. And mm-hmm. the one that's not dressed up is saying slut to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> she 
she wears this? She wears with pride, with oh, probably amazing. like ornament earrings. The woman is dressed to the nines in the funniest way amazing. every day. I get a text from her on Saturday that just goes, hey, did you do your taxes yet? I got fucked so hard I can't walk straight. <laughs> with with four puke emojis. <laughs> I said, what? I couldn't, hey. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. Jesus, Mary I and ab- Joseph. absolutely could not believe it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She must have, got, those taxes must have really fucked her. <laughs> they really, I mean, I said, you're a dog walker. You can't walk. I know. I was going to say, you should have just said, can you still walk beans? Do I have to do another GoFundMe? <laughs> Um, so Whoa. anyway, I know it killed me, but then I was a reminder ta- to do your taxes. Right. Everyone. I know it's getting to that season. Um, but so anyway, I responded with something of like, I know, like I, I pay a college tuition and taxes and like there's still my st- streets are filled with potholes. Yeah. But then I was thinking about it too. And I was like, I also like pay taxes and like none of my kids, I have no kids to go to public school. Yeah. Yeah. So there's little things where I'm like, where's my tax break for being childless? There you go. Or do you think people are going to protest us? I mean, this is <laughs> this is where people draw the line. This is where people were on board. And now this is what has polarized the people. I'm, I I'm think disa- everyone should get help I'm for their children, but I should get help for not. I'm disappointed that you didn't respond with an equally sexually aggressive uh, analogy. <laughs> Here's the thing, Grace. It's a fine line. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't. I could not. All right. We couldn't go there. I also was struggling from food poisoning. Yeah. I was fair. like, well, I can't I can't get in there. There's too many puke emojis and <laughs> there's been too much puke in my life for the last 48 hours. But that absolutely fair. cracked me up. But that's another thing with like, am I the asshole? Because I'm like, can I get a tax break for not? I mean, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I what's up? I know. I mean, Chelsea Handler does a great job of being she out does. there loud and proud, childless, having the best time of her life, yeah. being the most successful. And I think that's so admirable. Uh, I think it's very, very bizarre to put any financial responsibility on a friend for your children. Insane. <laughs> Insane. She's got to come back and she's got to be like, no problem. But like, I don't know, yeah. like pay for my date. That's coming up something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's a very strange friendship situation to be in. My he- God. Here's a not am I the asshole, but I kind of just was. OK. Is yesterday I was driving home from the grocery store. Yeah from getting champagne and strawberries for our live stream yes the very dignified live streams if you sign up to our patreon if hello. you'd like to participate hello we have a easter egg extravaganza yep. coming up next month your guess is as good as ours is what it's gonna be about <laughs> we and we don't know exactly what it will be but we have a feeling we'll be making eggs mm-hmm. um anyway i was pulling out i was like doing a turn going down the road and i'm crossing an intersection yeah and i see across from me one of those Tesla trucks. Tesla trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the crazy ass looking yeah, Tesla yeah. trucks that I say looks like one of those cars from the 90s you would put VHS tapes in to rewind. Yep, 100%. So anyway, I just don't even... I It looked more um, tinted yeah. than I knew than it was. Yeah. And I literally said, holy fuck, that is ugly. And Ren realized <laughs> I was making eye contact with the driver the whole time. And she made this face and I was like, whoops. <laughs> like, it's like I th- I'm in my car and I think no one can see me. Of course. And I yeah. don't have tinted windows. And I looked directly at her and said, holy fuck, that is ugly. Well, you know what? I think you're not the first person to say if that. If you're driving that, if you're driving that, you're, you're ready for a fight. You're looking for attention. Right. Uh, like what's hey. the what's the I'm looking up just so I can have the image of it. In my, yeah. It's These insane. like l- weird Lego cars. Yeah. That you're like, no one is driving around in this because it's got like, what, fuel efficiency? I what's the deal with so. them? Are they like you're begging people yeah. to look at this car you have. You know what it is? <laughs> yeah. It's the Yeezy shoe of automobiles. Yeah. Yeah. And this headline says Tesla Cybertruck owners find corrosion on vehicles oh, after great. rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. No. Perfect. I mean, this car is insane. It's- How do you expect people to not look at you? This is insane. Like, I understand that. Look, playing with the shapes of cars and things and like making stuff cool and getting a little edgy. I'm all about it. I yeah. go to the L.A. Auto Show every year with Chip. It's a yeah. tradition. However, like we're jumping too many. We're going forward. 
like too crazy. Yeah, this looks like I'm not seeing much good about the Tesla Cybertruck here. It what? says Tesla Cybertruck is a mistake turned marketing tool. Well, the first time they tested it, remember they were like, and these windows won't break. And then uh, Goober had a professional baseball player throw a pitch oh. at the, and it shattered. Yeah. Like yeah. on stage. <laughs> anyway, I was the asshole. I felt bad. And then one other thing I want to tell you about. Yeah. Very quick. Is that the night I got to uh, Palm Springs, we went out to Mr. Lyons, a beautiful, mm-hmm. you know, steakhouse. Very old school. Last time I went there yeah. is when I saw the um, neurotic son from Succession. Uh, yeah. You know the, what I'm talking about. Yes. I, I was, I was very starstruck. Uh, wait, the Culkin? No. Oh, oh, the oh. other uh, oldest one. Yeah, you know yeah. the one. Yeah. <laughs> you and I should not play. What is that game with celebrities? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, oh. we go and we're there before our reservation and they have like a cute little like hidden bar. Yeah. So, you know, the wonderful mustachioed uh, host who we fell in mm. love with uh, the whole night. He was fantastic. Um, he was like, well, ladies, you know, your table's not ready, but if you want to go get a drink, go for it. Mm-hmm. And we're wearing like big, I was wearing one of my newly rented jackets, you yeah. know, and like Kiwi's wearing basically like a shaved chimp. And we go in there and we go, we sit at the bar and this woman beside us goes, are you guys mob wives too? <laughs> and we look and it's a party of eight women on a mob wives theme night. That's mob wives like aesthetic is huge right yeah, now. Yeah, but they were doing a full <gasps> costume party. Oh my god! And, and looked you guys- at us and said, "Are you guys doing mob wives too?" And I was like, "Amazing!" And we looked up to see eight Sopranos. Amazing! I was like, we, "Amazing!" So we said, no, this is just how we dress. This is just us <laughs> trying to look cute, genuinely cute. Leaving our house. I'm like, no, I'm just wearing a jacket I can't afford, so I rented it. (laughs) That's a great aesthetic. Lean into that. I feel like that's having a moment right now. Absolutely. How fun. Uh, Oh, man. Guys, big week ahead. Yeah. Um, By the time you're listening to this, I will have rung the bell at Radiation. We're recording this on Monday. On Tuesday, I'm ringing the bell, which is the most fucking surreal thing possible and i'm so excited but it also just feels so unreal right now very 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 cool cool. um and then after that i like am quote unquote knock on wood like finished with the majority of my treatments sane so i'm gonna be a bit of a feral little whirling dervish of like not it. sure how to be in the world it's, now. <laughs> you let me know if you need to uh, me to occupy your time and I, celebrate. And yeah, well now I get to look for things to fill my time with, like yeah. stuff to do. Like we're actually like trying to do get out of the house and do stuff. I might have fatigue in the next week or right. two. We'll see. So still on guard for that. But yeah, holy shit! Holy I shit. can't believe it. It's gone so fast. It's and I'm so amazing. Very nervous about actually the physicality of ringing this bell i just thought of a way you should do it okay while we were talking okay i feel like in order to secure a later brand deal (laughs) yes okay thank you (laughs) you should ring the bell and scream live moss (laughs) for taco bell I feel That'd like so it's an, or, an organic <laughs> integration of the Why Taco is she Bell. Why speaking Spanish? Live Moss means live more. You beat cancer. I'm just yeah. saying, think about it. Okay, you know what? That's a great <laughs> first draft of an idea. There's many options. I can go full British ding dong, that woman from oh, that yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makeup Ding. show. Dong. Ding dong. I'll tell the Elliot. The is gone. I'll have Elliot wear big, thick, artsy glasses <laughs> and scream ding dong next to me as I ring it. That would be so dumb. Yeah, anyway. I think we're going to go more subtle than okay, that. Okay, however you do it is the perfect way hair, to do it. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, but, my um, God. Everyone that's been so supportive and sweet this whole time, thank you so much. This yes. is so a very exciting uh, moment in time. It's massive. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a day you will remember for the rest of your life. Yeah, I hope so. Unless the chemo, bra- I mean, everything. No, uh, you're so, gonna re- <laughs> no, everything so far has been pretty unbelievable. Yeah, yes. this is just another moment in all these moments that are unreal. It's and a we'll- tent pole day of your life, big time. Big Absolutely. Time. Well, Ooh. well, that got really sweet, yeah. and 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 this also got weird. Yep. <laughs>